I just wanted us to, to think about, reflect a little bit on this ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الْيَوْمَ تُجْزَى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ لَا ظُلْمَ الْيَوْمِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَرِيعُ الْحِسَابِ Today, every person shall have what they have earned. There will be no injustice today, and verily Allah is swift in His accounting. Now, this verse has multiple layers, but I want us to think about the scene of the courtroom on the Day of Judgment and the scene of the courtroom in this life. In this life, the best that you can get is some sort of punishment and retribution against the person that committed that murder, but you're not going to get your loved one back. And that's something that you know, I'll never forget when Jordan Edwards uh, was murdered here uh, by an officer and his father said at the end of it, as they, they gave the officer, Roy Oliver, 15 years, who murdered his 15-year-old son, I said, yeah, but I don't get my son back. I don't get my son back, right? So what are you celebrating here? You're celebrating some some semblance of justice, but you don't get your son back. Right? You don't get your loved one back. And often you see the families of these victims who've been victimized themselves. And, and in the case of Christ Church, survivors also. And they're trying to impress upon the murderer the gravity of the crime that they have committed and upon the judge and upon the public. They're trying to advocate faithfully for their loved ones and tell their stories because their stories have been cut short by these uh, ruthless acts. And that is a heavy burden to have. And subhanAllah, Allah tells us, The first thing Allah says is that everyone will be repaid for what they have done of reward and punishment. Now this has a broader meaning in tafsir. This refers to any good deed that is done and any sin that is committed. Um, but specifically in the capacity or in the context of dhulm here, of a wrongdoing. The judge in this world can only work fairness. But the judge in the hereafter, who is Allah, can actually restore and give back what was lost, right? And so you think about the oppressed standing with the oppressor, the murderer and the murdered, the slanderer and the slandered. All of these different types of uh, oppressors and oppressed standing on the day of judgment and the compensation for the one who is patient with the loss of their loved one is not just getting their loved one back but being in the presence of the beloved sallallahu alaihi wasallam in paradise right i mean it doesn't get better than that so allah gives what was taken and there is no doubt no distrust at any point or uh, or, or or lack of confidence that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you back what you have lost what has been taken away from you and so the power of al yawma tujza kullu nafsin bima kasabat everyone will get back what or everyone will get what they deserve a reward and punishment. And the, the motto of the Day of Judgment, la ظُلْمَ الْيَوْمِ There will be no wrongdoing today. There are no lawyers to stand in the trial. There is no access to power or privilege in the trial in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no better argument. There's just truth. And the judge knows all things. There's no suppressed evidence because you can't hide evidence from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And no one, no one, no wrongdoing will be tolerated no wrongdoing will go without being uh, uh, without without right being done by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala on the Day of Judgment. And then, lastly, in Allah Sariyar al Hisab, verily Allah is swift in His accounting, and this is a, such a powerful uh, ending to this verse. Now, there are two meanings to it. Number one, Atta Amrullah fala tastajju. The Day of Judgment is is on its way, so don't be hasty towards it. Uh, verily, al Hisab resurrection is on its way. And when we stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this entire life would have felt like less than a day. So on that day, a day of which the standing is 50,000 years, this entire life of however many years you lived on this earth would feel like less than a day in its entirety. But there's another meaning of it, in Allah sari'u al-hisab, that verily on the day of judgment, Allah will be swift. Allah will be swift in allotting reward and punishment. And what that means, you know, or one of the, the meanings that we can take from that, one of the one of the blessings of that is if you think about how in this life, you know, people have to wait for the trials and then the trials take a long time. And then you have the pain of the arguments, the trauma being revisited, the evidence being presented, and you don't even know if you're going to get justice and all of these things taking place. You have all the strings being pulled. You have all of the uncertainty on the day of judgment in Allah, Sari'ul Hisab.